Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this video what I'm going to be doing today, um, it's 4.30 in the morning, um, I've just got up, I'm going to go and load the car and I'm going to do another toy fair today at the NEC. Really excited for this one, loads of stuff to sell when I'm there, got some trades in mind as well that's going on. I'm going to be meeting Paul from the Space Bridge. Um, he's had some things, bless him, I've got to be honest, he's had things, some of them on hold for me for pretty much most of the year and something which he's held for me since TF Nation. So I've got to thank him for that. I'm going to be picking up them. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting around, hopefully doing as many videos as I can, but the rumour is this one's going to be quite busy. So um, we'll just have to see how it goes. So yeah, so it's half four now. I'm going to pick up a friend who's coming with me um about half five ish we're going to set off to be ready to outside the nec which is the huge event um national exhibition exhibition center it stands for, i need to wake up sorry it stands for national exhibition center we're going to be there ready to outside the gates for 7 a.m to get in and get set up so it's just a great experience and again i'm just enjoying this there's so many people i know who are going to be there i'm going to be meeting hopefully i get to chat to you all but please come over and say hello um i'll have this on i'll have me top on um, and again, I'll put a thing up on my Instagram where I'm going to be. But yeah, really excited. Can't wait to get around and see this. Picking up things for some friends as well. So this could be, in the end of this, could be a bit of a toy haul as well because of the amount of things that I've got in the pipeline due to this. So um, let's get cracking. I'll keep you updated throughout the day. So yeah, this is, I suppose, to give you a bit of an idea, like I just said in my room, how, I suppose, early in the morning it is. I've just stopped at the petrol station. I'm going to get some fuel and it is still pitch black. So... I'm still really looking forward to it. I'm still really tired, but this is going to be a great day and I will do my very best again, as I've already said, to try and get as many videos as I can. So I'll next video will be when I'm at the venue. So I've got to the venue and just to give you an idea, it's not even 7 a.m. yet, but if I can just show you the queues to get in uh, for the exhibitors, I'm on this car park and yeah, there's about six lanes. We're going to these massive um, halls right to right behind us and that's where we're going to be setting up, but we're not even allowed inside the venue yet. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really busy one anyway. So we're just outside the halls. You can see there there's a queue starting. All these cars are pulling up now to park. Every single person in this particular part of the car park is an exhibitor. I've now got to get in that queue and go and find my table. So this is absolutely nothing to look at at the moment. These are the tables. There's the boxes of stuff. We've got to get them all out. This is the state of play. This is everybody coming in. And this is the size of the hall. This is all going to be toys and trains, nothing else. This is the probably one of the biggest indoor toy events in the UK. Solid sellers all selling toys. We're all setting up. It's literally 7 a.m. in the morning right now. Um, and I'm going to get on with putting the store together. So we're starting to get there. We've managed to get some of it up, as you can see. And um, got this again on the side. So loads of duplicates all in the racking. And just a quick oversight at how fast this place is filling up. So loads going on. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good day, to be honest. So we're still setting up. This is my friend Alan's part of the store. There's Alan. Stressing he, out. Stressing out, just but he's got things. some great stuff on here already. Um, once again, a fashionably late Magnum Prime. This is his part <laughs> of the table. As you can see, he's not even... He's managed to get his shelves up, so at least he's managed to get something done. This is sort of my side over here. So we've got some reissues of my friends I'm selling for him. Um, and we've got some of the newest stuff. Mixture of everything, to be honest. Um, and again, a load of movie figures all on the back there. So it's starting to take shape. I'm going to attempt to, without making you all super dizzy, give you an idea of how much busier it's getting in here now. It's not even full opening time yet. Um, I'm going to intend, if I can, I don't know if you can even hear me, actually I'm holding my phone up. I'm going to intend to try and get a, quite a few more videos done today, but this is the state of play at about half eight in the morning. Right, so we are now all set up. So this is X in Ferris's store. Loads of Transformers with a bit of a mix of absolutely everything else. Um, and then we're moving on, as I say, to my sort of three tables that I've got with some friends. Star Wars to start off, that is the Razor's Crest Haslab. Star Wars all there. Transformers, complete mix. Then we're moving on. Magnum Prime has managed to get here and get set up. So we've got his stuff. So again, mixture of everything, to be honest. Generation 1, movies, animated. 
studio series and then yet again as well moving over here is ours so this is a huge huge section that we've managed to get set up um yeah hopefully it's going to be a good day and again i'll just do another quick pan around for you it's getting even busier we're just before 9am so i'll try and get some videos on some other stores now so we're still an hour from actual general admission and this is a view from the bottom of the hall so to the far left hand side is where the traders were coming in and then at the top end right up there underneath all that black and white stripes is where the people the public are going to start coming in um, as you can see it's it's getting really busy um, I'm going to just walk up a little bit of it just to try and give you an idea of the size and the scale of it I'll try and stop at a few stores as we go along but as you can see is there's a mixture of everything so we've got some Toy Story stuff we've got some original army things we've got this is some of my stuff that's my store we've then got your usual pops um, we've got some toys, some turtles, some Hot Wheels. Um, as you can see, if I just sort of lift up this, just enormous. So there's some newer Transformers here by the looks of this setting up. Uh, with some other things, there's some more Star Wars over there. There's some dinky cars. There's actually Matt Parks' store, someone else who I know. So in fact, we're going to walk over to him right now and hopefully see some of his Transformers. But this is again, just to give you an idea of what there is right let's go to matt parks store and show you what he's got right so i'm on matt's stall and this is as you can see this is anybody who loves beast wars this is going to be their heaven we have got everything we've got laser prime down there we've got all the original figures with their backing cards down there we've got some transformers prime we've got just so many figures there's an abundance of everything look at all this beast machines Beast Machines, Animated, we've got a stack there, we've got G1 Originals, we've got Star Convoy Reissue, we've got Combiner Wars, Titans Return, there is just so much. But I'm also loving the fact this morning we've got the original prices on, Megatron G2, still unused, and there it is in the box as well. <laughs> and so much on here. I'll try and get a better video again of some more stuff as we carry on so i found another transformer seller this is somebody who i've actually purchased off before great prices great stock i'm going to let him introduce himself hi guys my name is james um i am at starbase 55 toys and collectibles i'm going to be opening a store in north Hill market on the first week of december there you go guys so if you're in that area you can check it out he's got loose figures anything from movie to transformers prime up to newer boxed uh, studio series 86 figures and then some Lego, a complete mixture of everything, more movie, pops, and some thrilling 30 generations figures as well. We've got a ton of Beast Wars stuff as well. Oh, and a ton of Beast Wars stuff ready for the shop. There we go. Right, so we found the Space Bridge again, and once again, he never fails to impress. We've got some of the newer stuff there. We've got some Transformers Prime first editions we've got the box stuff Jane, pick that up, mate. we've got let's come around over here we've got some vintage beautiful stuff look how white that jet fire is no and what it is then we've got some more here as well and there's the man himself there he is and i'll be showing you what i'll be getting off him later on right okay so back from an absolutely crazy day uh, the last video that you saw there was no talking over that was intentional that's because it was just so busy i got my friend who's on the store with me i said just do me a favor dan i says just please just get a panoramic video of just to give you an idea i suppose of how busy it was um all them videos that i was taking initially as the, they were the beginning of the day so that was before the general public came in so as soon as the general public came in obviously let me stick on as soon as the general uh public came in it as you saw it was just it was crazy so i didn't get a chance to film any more at all um 
such a great day. Great trades, met some people. Um, got a few things here which I'm going to go through with you now. As I say, and I'm, I've said it at the beginning and I've said it a few times when I meet him. I'm just so glad that I've met this chap. His name is Paul Hitchens, everybody. He runs the Space Bridge shop in the UK. He's got a Facebook group and Instagram, everything. I mean, if it's Transformers and a lot of other things, if there's any Transformers that you're after, he is the man. If he hasn't got it, he can hunt it down. He's got the crazy rarest things that I've ever seen. And he's been so good to me. And I want to really show my appreciation for that because he really has. There's some of the figures that... Um, He's, that he's he's had on hold for me for like, you know, most of the year, one of them since TF Nation. And I say it with a bit of a wry smile. He's tempted me again with some other figures that you just sort of don't see. But because I was there selling, I was all right and able to buy straight away. There's also some things in here for um, a chap who I, you hear me um, mention him a few times, Lee Bennett. He's the guy who's helped me with all my graphics and all that sort of stuff. So I might as well show you them first. So that's that was his, that's Takara book, Sound Wave. So if you're not sure who he is and if he's watching this now, Lee, these sound waves are for you. He just collects sound waves. And um, so these are all his. They are going straight to Lee. I will message him as soon as I've done this video. Um, right, now on to things. Okay, I'll show you the things that I had planned and I knew I was going to be getting straight away, um, which is brilliant. So we've got the Predator Jets G1 or G1.5. Some of them are G point, G2. These are the UK versions. So I've got a couple of gig versions. A scary thing. Look at that. War with £6.99 on that price. So we've got English version of Tal on there. Still sealed. We've got English version of Skydive. Again, still sealed. Still with a six ninety nine price on. So... Um, We've got a few more in here. We've got English version of Snare. And if you're wondering why I'm saying English version, because a couple of these I've got in Italian versions. Again, still sealed, six ninety nine. wow. Um, and these are the ones that he's he's had on hold for me for most of the year. He's basically just allowed me to save up for them um, and pay them off all in one go. So again, huge, huge thank you to him for that reason. So again, this is the last one, Falcon. So that's all four of the Decepticon Predators. I've got these loose as well. So... I can do some videos on them, which will be great um, with examples, obviously, a sealed examples. Um, so that was... Oh, no, what's this? Oh, that's just my pen. <laughs> that's nothing at all. So the other thing, which I've got to show you, which he's had on hold for me since TF Nation. In fact, before I show you that, I want to show you these. I picked up these randomly, and I don't normally collect non-transplant non-transformers but these do transform now who remembers these these are the mcdonald's transforming but they're bagged sealed never opened um what's quite funny is on this on the videos that you saw we had alan at the end and we had magnum in the middle and uh, we ended up doing loads of trading and buying from each other so these are the sealed sealed mcdonald's happy meal toys so there we've got the milkshake we've got the burger we've got the pancakes we've got um the nuggets and the fries so i don't know if that's the lot that might be the entire set but they're all still sealed in original bag so i just couldn't resist that not at all um and then this this is the one that this is one of the newer figures i've been really excited about getting um it's a combiner i've got three of the limbs already but i don't have the rest this is orthia and this is, of course, the female combiner. So I can't, I've wanted this figure for ages, but I couldn't find, of course, this one that just isn't anywhere. But I saw this at TF Nation. He had it on his stand and um, I couldn't afford it. But then when we got home, I just had to message him. I said, Paul, if you still got it? And he did have, and again, he saved it me. So again, huge thank you to that amazing gent. I've got all here. I can't wait to do videos on that. All the instructions and everything are in here, which is great. So them are the ones that I knew about. These are the ones where, do you know what? Let's let's start off with, so this is this is my first shake my fist in like jokey anger. Um, at Dan, who came with me, and he's the guy who helped me with the store. Um, oh, wow, it's another third party. Here we go, funnily enough. So world's smallest Transformers, not an official Takara one. Shockwave. Um, and he was going to sell that. I was like, I've got to have that. I've got to have that. So I had that off him and I'm going to open it because I want to do a video on it. Um, then this is my 
fear. So people who've been watching this channel, I don't buy third party and I blame Magnum Prime wholeheartedly for this. I brought an Iron Factory figure because it's cool, because it's hologram mirage. So it looks like I'm slowly, I won't be going, I won't be getting many at the moment. I've still got too much to pay off for the rest of the G1 stuff. Um, but he did me a great deal on this. So that's my first Iron Factory figure. It is hologram mirage. So it's quite funny. It's, it's, there's two third party figures there. And then this one is the one that it's, if he comments on the video, he showed it me as soon as I got there. He's like, I've got something you're going to want. I'm like, no, I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. I'm, I'm here to sell. And then he showed me these and then I was like, and then I didn't buy them, I was dead good, I was dead good. I went back to my store and it was getting busier and I was selling more things and it was getting busier and I was selling more things. And I couldn't even get to his store, so I sent him a message. I was like, have you still got that box set? He's like, yeah. I went, I'll have it. <laughs> and he just put a smiley face. So he held on to it for me till the end of the show. So this is, and anybody who's a, fan, who's, a, who's a fan of the channel, who's a friend to the channel will know that I love a box kind of exclusive. So this is, and it's R.I.D. as well, and I don't have many R.I.D. figures. I think I've got the original one of this, though. So for those of you who've not seen this before, this is, here's all the weapons and accessories and everything that come with it. So it's all completely as new. So this is your R.I.D. 3-pack, all translucent, clear, Botcon exclusive. I, I apologise, I'll handle straight away for not knowing much more about these. I just know how cool they are, how rare they are. Um, and again, they're Botcon exclusives and they're translucent. And I'm awful for things like that. So a huge, huge thank you to Paul on that. He gave me a ridiculous deal on that one that I couldn't say no. Um, so overall, a ridiculously good day. I uh, so Apologies for the videos. I'm getting further and further behind due to things like this. Um, the comics I will try and catch back up with. Um, I've got an unboxing tomorrow because I got something from Matt as well. Big Matt, I've mentioned. That's a nice, big Japanese exclusive. Just such a great day. Again, I don't even know what to say. I'm so bowled over with it all. It was all a bit of fun. I'm not going to do the one in December. I've got three very young kids which I want to spend at Christmas with them, which will be great. But I'm not saying I'll never do one in the future. But again, huge thank you to everybody, especially people like you guys who are watching me now on this channel. Thank you. Hello to everybody who came over. Ollie from Milton Keynes who came and had his fallen figure. I'm going to do a shout out for you on another video as well. Everybody who just came and, and it, even if they didn't buy anything from me, just anybody who came and said hello or thanks for the videos, I really appreciate, appreciate it. I can't even talk. Look, I've had such a good day. A bit overwhelmed, to be honest um yeah it was great thank you ever so much everybody thank you for watching this thank you for the channel support um i will get back on track with everything as soon as possible and we've got so many more new exciting videos to look forward to thank you very much for watching guys take care